there is a particular type of equation called a quadratic equation which begins to access some of the grade A work. Now I'm going to just talk through uh, what we'll call the basic quadratic equations and give an indication of how it can be extended. So x squared plus 5x plus 6 equals 0. Now these are solved as long as one has equal to 0 on the right hand side. Now sometimes these expressions can be factorised and I suggest you might want to look at the video on factorising which I've also done. But basically we need two numbers which times to make plus 6 and add to make 5. And it is fairly easy to see that those numbers are 3 and 2. 3 times 2 is 6, 3 plus 2 is 5. And it's been converted into a pair of double brackets. And the reason this trick works is because if one can factorise, we have two things times together to make 0. So either this equals 0 or that equals 0. One of these two things must equal 0 and that can only happen if either x equals minus 3 because minus 3 plus 3 is 0 or x equals minus 2. And these are called the solutions, there are two of them, to that particular quadratic equation. I will now talk through a few more examples. So remember, we're looking for numbers which times to make minus 15, but combine somehow to make plus 2. Now there are not many factors of 15. However, if I put down 5 and minus 3, 5 times minus 3 is minus 15, 5 take away 3 is 2. I have factorised the expression. Either this equals 0 or that equals 0. So either x is minus 5 or x is plus 3. And they are the two solutions of the second quadratic equation. Now it's not always that easy to factorise. This one is a special case called the difference of two squares where there are no x terms. However, it's actually quite quick to factorise. This is a square number. 7 times minus 7 is minus 49. And there are no x terms because 7 take away 7 is 0. The x terms cancel out. And to make this equal to 0, x must be minus 7. But to make that equal to 0, x could equal plus 7. And they are the two possible solutions to that equation. And in hindsight, it's fairly obvious because, of course, 7 squared is 49. Take away 49 equals 0. Or minus 7 squared is also 49. Take away 49 equals 0. And the final one in this particular series is this one here. When we have a plus 9 here, and a minus term here. Now then, this is actually a square number, 3 times 3. And also 3 plus 3 is 6, but we have a minus 6 here. Now then, if I put minus 3 and minus 3 in those brackets, Minus 3 take away 3 is minus 6. Minus 3 times minus 3 is plus 9. So it's factorised. And in this case, the two solutions are the same. Plus 3 or plus 3. They can be called repeated roots. Where we happen to have the same solution occurring twice. So in fact there's only one solution to that equation. x equals plus 3. Now we'll just
just point out a special case, well, or more general case, this one here where it does not factorize. And it is this point where I was mention a formula which one would need to learn to access the higher grade work at GCSE. And the next video will develop the ideas on this further.